knows the club has to go fast. So how is free falling, like Freddie Couples, right? How is that going to make the club go fast? <coughs> We're going to let the golf club just free fall twice, just a half swing, nothing to get excited about. And on the first one, we're going to make the lower body go slowly. We're going to push off on the right leg and turn the left hip slowly. Then on the second one, we're going to turn the left hip faster. And we're going to see what that will do to the stick. So let's first go one time with a very slow lower body, okay? Just a half swing. We're going to push. And turn. Okay, nice. Now we're going to turn the left hip faster. And we're going to see what that does to the stick. What happened on the second one? What did the club do? Yeah. The club went fast. <clears throat> Which muscles made it go? Leg. If we want massive relaxation on top, do we? Yeah. Then what do we got to start to generate down here now? Massive what? Come on. Stress, tension, and torque. Millions of golfers, not on purpose, do this whole thing backwards. When we play golf, where's the tension? Don't the wrong. upper back, neck, shoulders, arms, the hands, even the muscles and the face. <laughs> and guess what our hips and thighs are doing? Take a guess. Massive relaxation. And then every once in a while the tragedy strikes. Once in a while, what do we do? We a good one. When we hit a good shot with a bad swing, you know the flight of the ball tricks us right away into believing we swung right? Mm -hmm. And you know what else tricks us? Our friends. When we hit a good shot with a bad swing, what do our friends do to us? <laughs> they pat us on our backs and give us positive reinforcement and then say things to us like, nice swing. <laughs> you keep doing that, you'll be all right. <laughs> If we do hit a good shot with a bad swing, would you look at your friends right away and say, don't pay any attention to that? We just witnessed a miracle. <laughs> That's right. No, because we're not watching them now. Yeah. 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 All sports skills, the legs are everything. Can we go with that for today? No. Okay, what we're going to do next is we're going to put your lower body power muscles in alignment. From doing this, immediately you're going to hit the ball substantially further. Before we do this exercise, who here has been playing golf for a fairly long time, and if we play golf by the rules, no mulligans, who will probably shoot above 90 right now, and you've been playing for a long time. How long have you been playing, sir? Well, for a long time, off and on. How long? <laughs> uh, well, probably... How old were you? I'm 65 now, and I would have been... Okay, let's go with uh, 40 years. How about that? We'll just go with 40 years. Okay. What's your first name? Sam. Sandy's at this game now 40 years. You know what we know about Sandy? He tries his best on every shot, correct? He tries his best on every shot, correct? Let's <laughs> pretend <Correct. laughs> 40 years ago, 40 years ago, Sandy decides he doesn't care about golf, but he would love to learn to speak Spanish. <laughs> he loves Spanish. It's now 40 years later and he doesn't know two words of Spanish. <laughs> what should he do? Yeah, he's not quit. Who oh, said that? <laughs> he is not quit. <laughs> he's going to change his study habits. <laughs> what he learns and how he learns. And don't take any more tips from the Frenchman you play golf with. <laughs> When we were in high school, did anybody play football or baseball? Did anybody do that one? Let me see. Which, uh, which sport did you do, sir? Football. What's your first name? Don. Don played football. It's Don's high school days right now. It's football season, pretend. Where do we find Don every day, not once a week? Where was he every day after school? <laughs> he went to practice every day. Why, Don? Tell us why you did that. Because he said No, because the coach said you better be here. <laughs> Can I have the club for a minute, Don? Don, you are no longer on a football team, correct? Let's make the presentation. Please stand up, Don. We'll make it official. Here you go. Now you're on the golf team. Have a seat. <laughs> what does Don need to do every day? Right. Right. Show up for dress rehearsal. It's his own home. What would happen if all of us start to improve a little every week? What does that mean in time? Be on a pro tour. Yeah, you know, I get a lot of these all the time, but this was a kind of good one. Lady out of West Palm Beach, Florida. 
you know, she's not, she's in this class, she's not 20 years old. She'd been playing golf for a long, long time. Look, geez, nobody in West Palm Beach is 20 years old. <laughs> she had broken 90 twice in her whole life. And then after she had been here about six months later, she sent me an email with photographs of her last two scorecards. She just wanted to show me with back-to-back, back-to-back rounds of 77. Well, no. Now, wait, she plays from the forward tees, but so what? Yeah. Right? You still got to hit the shots, and, you know, she's a late player now, to the best of her ability. All right, that's all. All sports skills, the legs are everything. I bet you've noticed this. You ever watch a ball game on TV and notice some ball players that are either a little bow-legged or not clean? Have you ever noticed that? And then this is not, this next group are the best ones. Like Derek Jeter, you know him, the Yankees. When that guy comes running out on the field, he's pigeon toe. His feet are going in, not out. Who are some other pigeon toe ball players? These are the best ones. Who are they? Give me some names. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth was pigeon toe. Who else? Ted Williams. Ted Williams, you sure it was. Yeah, sure. Who else? Cal uh, I believe he was too, and Pete Rose, and but we could just sit here all day on this one. Uh, but let's do the big Jackie Robinson, Willie Mays. These are all pigeon-toed people, quarterbacks right now, like uh, Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers and Drew Brees. He's a pigeon-toed people. Uh, John Elway. Agassi. Yeah, Agassi. And so was Chrissy Everett. Yeah. Uh, pigeon-toed a lot if you're into tennis. And then, and then you have uh, like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. Basketball, they're pigeon-toed. Have you ever seen a great ball player come running out on the court? <laughs> 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 We're going to do a strength test, and you're going to do this with your partner in just a minute. What's your first name again, sir? Scott. Scott. Can you help me, please? 